Let me give you quickly seven reasons to have a budget, all right? Yeah, and, and I know that math, I've already used two uh, curse words to some of you, math and budget. I understand that, but <laughs> number one, helps us to see things more clearly and objectively if you'll get a budget. And you can write these down in another, go back and write them down if you want to later. I don't know if you can do it this quickly. Number two, makes us examine and clarify our values and priorities. If you have a, if, it's the only way you can ever pass the prosperity test is get on a budget. Provide, number three, provides a basis of discussion and agreement. And that's not, and if, especially if you're married. Number four, provides a basis for accountability. Number five, helps us live within our means. Number six, helps us live without debt or without much debt. And number seven, builds character and discipline in our lives. So um, let me just, let me tell you, if you have a budget, how wonderful it is, uh, because like, let's just say your spouse comes to you, and, and let, I'll use it this way, doesn't whether it's a man or a woman, let's say the man wants a new bass boat, okay? Here's what you say, honey, I would love for you to have a new bass boat, but let's see what Mr. Budget says. Oh, Mr. Budget say no. <laughs> I would give you a new bass boat. Mr. Budget say no. <laughs> Mr. Budget's mean. I shared that illustration the first time that I ever did this series in 2003, almost 20 years ago. And uh, this uh, lady talked to me one time. She said, we, we, we decided we got on a budget and we started using that. Mr. Budget says no, you know. And so our kids, we decided our budget at that time, because we had a lot of debt and we had the school debt and we had to get out, we decided we got real, real uh, firm with our budget. We decided we'd go to McDonald's once a week. And so we started that and my little four-year-old daughter, the back seat in her car seat said, mom, can we go to McDonald's twice this week? And she said, honey, I would love to take you to McDonald's twice a week. But Mr. Budget says no. And a little while, she heard her four-year-old say, I hate Mr. Budget. <laughs> well, I'm, I know we all hate Mr. Budget sometimes, but you could eliminate 90% of the stress in your life if you would bring this area under control.